Hey YouTube, uh, Irish Bear 76 um, Just wanted to talk today about uh, family uh, and MS. Having MS and no one in my family has an extended family. It's just me. I'm the weirdo. Uh, it's hard for them to understand. Um, they, like when we go to family reunion or it's a picnic or somebody's birthday party and I, I grab a cooler and start to walk it to a car everyone oh oh you know like I'm gonna fall down or but I might but uh that kind of like oh he's a cripple better be careful you know kind of gets on my nerves but um you see the concern that your family has for you and it makes you feel good it makes you feel better so um what I'm gonna talk about today is family and MS, and specifically our offspring. Um, I have two daughters. I've said that a few times. I'm very proud of them. Madeline is seven, and Annalise is a newborn, so she's cooing and gurgling and doing all that stuff um, that little babies do that makes you so happy. And um, I can't help but to wonder: um, Will they have this disease when they get older? My daughters. Uh, me being a man with MS, I, I feel like a lot of things aren't geared toward me as far as support groups and videos and movies and things like that. Um, however, uh, I like women tend to be more um, forthcoming with their emotions and, and uh, how they feel about things. And I like that. I like that uh, that you can really talk openly about your disease and, and not hold back and not feel like, you know, this guy's going to think I'm some kind of puss, you know, because I'm complaining. Um, but anyway, these daughters of mine, I, I worry about them because I don't know if they're going to have uh, MS or not. I read studies and they say that there's no familial link between MS, not, not a significant familial link between MS and genetics. However, it's proven that you have to be genetically predisposed to MS to get it, which tells me genetic link, yo. <laughs> and the other thing that they say is uh, <clears throat> the child of someone with MS is t two times more likely to get MS in their lifetime, which tells me that that's a family link, that's a genetic link. But the literature says that there's no proven link. Um, let's just throw a number out there and say like if one in every hundred thousand people because somewhere latitude wise that that statistics true um, obviously not in Canada or in England you know um, or northern America it, it's probably it's probably much higher than that but let's just say there's a place latitude wise where it's one in a hundred thousand okay hypothetically if I'm a man with MS and in this one in 100,000 uh, latitude, and I have a kid, they are two in 100,000. Uh, that would be their, their odds. Instead of one in 100,000, it'd be two in 100,000, which you still think, hey, I'll, I'll go to Vegas with those odds, or Atlantic City. Um, so I start to feel pretty good. But then you read other literature that says, oh, here's one that really robbed some sleep for me for a while. And it said that men with MS are more likely to have children with MS than women are to have children with MS. Meaning if you're the dad and you you have MS, your kids are much more likely to get MS than if you're a mother with MS. So that freaks me out. You know, anytime my daughter's leg falls asleep, I start to silently and quietly stiff up her lip, freak out, you know, so I'm like asking her questions like I'm a neuro, like, does this happen often? Uh, you know, <laughs> so I worry a lot uh, about my kids. Um, obviously, the little one, she's too little to. Annalise is too little to know, uh, for me to know what's going on with her, other than her diaper's full or <laughs> she wants to feed. But back on track, um, our kids are our lives, you know, and. Um, all these thoughts come to me, you know, like all the time. Like, when do I tell Madeline the severity of what's wrong with me? Um, does she know there's something wrong with me? Yes, I'm sure she does. She has to. I mean, 
she's not totally unperceptive. Um, but when do I have the talk? I don't know. You know, the books will say when she's ready or when you feel that she's mature enough. And do I ever tell her? Yeah, I, I know I have to because she'll find out. You know, she, she may feel betrayed if she's 25 and I'm like, oh, by the way, <laughs> I'm never going to walk, you know. But anyway, so that's what I worry about is my family. And it's very taxing on a family to have, to have someone they love to have MS. They're constantly worried about me and actually I don't want them to because it's the opposite. I'm the one who worries about them and I'm the one that just doesn't want, I'm very selfish with MS. I, I want it for me. I don't want anyone I love, anyone I care about to get it, to have it, to the people that I've met um, that are struggling right now, which I'm going to give a shout out to, uh, to Carrie. Um, with the muscle spasm thing, that, that's bothered me. I know you can just kind of see in your face in your video that it's upsetting to you. You kind of laugh it off, but um, hang in there. I, that stuff goes away. Um, those weird things that are very individual go away. Um, it seems like forever. I know it could be like six months before they go away, but just uh, just know that you're in my prayers, Carrie. And Tori, Tori, uh, you got a lot of stuff going on. I'm not... I guess I'm kind of new to to watching your videos and um, to being uh, your friend, but uh, whatever's going on with you, I hope it, it resolves. You know, you're in my my prayers as well as Carrie. All my MS friends out there, I, I appreciate everything that you've done uh, with writing me back and saying nice things. Um, Angela, <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um, just don't you guys don't forget to email me because. If you have any you know, questions or anything, or you just want to talk, I'm here. Um, I check my email all the time. So, uh, there's that. Um, but I think everyone here can relate with, with the family thing. So what I want you guys to do, once you watch this video, because I'm going to like cram it down your throat, I'm like going to make, make you watch it. I'm just kidding. But when you watch the video, if you do, I just want, here's your assignment. Everybody, just kind of get, drop me a line. Tell me how MS, your MS, is affecting your family. Tell me if it makes you feel guilty like it makes me feel. Tell me if it makes you feel, um, you know, a sense of, well, I'm loved. Look how much I'm loved. Maybe it, it, it'll just, it edifies you and builds you up that your family loves you. And that, um, but with me, actually, it's a source of worry, of constant worry, my family is. So, um that's that's the assignment. You have an assignment, MS community out there, and the fibromyalgia people that are watching my videos are allowed to comment because you, this is MS. So you fibromyalgia person watching the video, you can't comment. Ah, you. Okay. All right. Well, I thought I'd keep it short and sweet, just kind of address the family thing, because I'm actually more interested to hear what you say than I'm interested to talk for a change. So let me know how it affects you. Let me make, uh, <clears throat> let me figure out where I'm at from, from where you're at. See if I'm the only one that it's weird like that, or if, if everyone with MS has those fears for their family or that have read the statistics, you know, about our children and if they worry or if they know someone in the MS community, yes, my uncle has it and my cousin or, or whatever. I'd, I'd like to know because the more information I get, not from a book, but the more information I get from you, as in real people, people that may not be in, in some study, where they're getting their information from, because everything I'm reading, the official line is, no, there's no family, um, maybe a little itty bitty wee um, correlation. But what I get sometimes from people is that it's, it's, it's very family oriented and very passed on down the <clears throat> down the genetic line and my father was adopted so I have no clue what my uh, biological grandfather like he, he may be somewhere with MS right now I don't I have no contact with him but I just <clears throat> I think it'll help me it'll help me a lot with figuring things out all right tried to make it short it was long um this is Irish Bear 76 saying goodbye god bless take care um goodbye to all my new friends and Hello to all my new friends, and keep trucking. Bye.